Welcome back to Protection of Solids. The object which is given in this problem is an hexagonal prism. A hexagonal prism is given in this problem. A hexagonal prism of base side 25 mm and axis height 65 mm is resting on HP with its base. So it is a simple position. And one of its base side is inclined at 45 degree to VP. One of its base side is not parallel. It is inclined at 45 degree to VP. So when you view from the top, one of its base side is inclined 45 degree to VP. So we have to draw that in the top view. Right. So before that, let us identify which view should be drawn first. The front view or top view. The base is visible in the top view. So we have to start from the top view. Let us draw the XY line. First of all, we have to draw the 45 degree line. At 45 degrees, the base is inclined. So, base is inclined 45 degree to VP. With that condition, we have to draw the solid. Right. So, this is the hexagon. The hexagonal prism is having two sides. One is on the front, another is on the rear. So, let us name the front side as ABCD and rear side as 1, 2, 3, 4. The front side is named as A, B, C, D, E and F and the rear side is named as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. And now uh, we have to project all the points in order to draw the front view. Project all the points D, the point C, the point E, point B, point F and point A. Now we have projected all the points. As the object is resting on HP, the base should be drawn on the XY line itself. And the height is given as 65 mm. So we have to draw a vertical line of height 65 mm. The height is 65 mm. Right. So now we have to decide what are the edges visible and what are the edges invisible. So here as we are viewing from this top, this is top view. Now we are viewing from the front. So if you view from the front, the bottom most edges will be visible and the top most edges will not be visible. So here point D, D4, C3, 2B and 1A will be visible. And the F6 and E5 will not be visible because if you view from its front, the F E and E5 will be in the rear side. So C3 is visible here, 2B is visible here, 6 F is invisible here, 5 E is invisible here. And now let us name all the parts. As the front face is named as ABCD and rear face is named as 1, 2, 3, 4. If you view from the front, the top face will be the ABCD face and the bottom face will be the older two face. Say the point is A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash, E dash invisible and F dash invisible. Here 1 dash. 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash invisible and 6 dash invisible. Now we have completed the projection. Hope you have understood this problem. Thank you.